play the rip. Your point, which deck are you playing again? I just don't want to play the same one. Okay, cool. T1. Actually, maybe I'll play a purple deck. I haven't played one of those yet. Okay. And then let me just pull up the rules again so I can cross reference them as I go. Make sure I don't mess anything up. Yeah. Give me one second, I'm getting a phone call. Dude, that was crazy. I was uh getting I was like local department or something, but then I could not make out a word that was being said. It was like crazy distortion. Yeah. Okay. Uh oh wait. Was hello? 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 I I still have my computer muted. I was like, oh, I'm talking to myself. Uh. <laughs> Alright. Yeah. So. Okay. So we. I think like normally you do the handshake, but I mean not a handshake. The rock paper scissors, but we can't do that in the tabletop sim. So what most people have been doing is they'll just take a dice and they'll roll the dice, and the high roll can decide um, whether they want to go first or second. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'll go second. So then now we draw our six cards, and we can decide yep. if we want a mulligan or not. I won't. Okay, I think I will. Oh, what the heck? Okay. 
Okay. And then now we'll both select a cookie to start with. I just got to read mine real quick because... <laughs> How do you do this? Okay, I'll do that one. And then we can just flip on three. One, two, three. Okay. And so now we put the HP cards down. And then what people have also been doing, I don't know if you've watched like, uh, the streams and stuff, but people will put the dice and then put the HP value. I see. Yeah. Just like a little bit of a nice visual helper. Okay. Okay. And then once we have that set up, uh, you're, get, you're going first, and first turn does not draw on the first round. But otherwise you can yeah. play a card and uh, all of that. I just end my turn now. Uh, so what you, prob what you should do is, oh. uh, you know how the support area works? Yeah. Yeah, so that's kind of like your your land, basically. Uh, have you ever played Magic? Uh, no. Okay, so so basically, like, to do certain attacks, right? Like, if you look at uh, the card I have, you can see how it's... If you right-click on it, it says, like, PP, right? And there's two yeah. purple orbs. That's basically saying I need to have two cards in my support area to use that ability to deal one damage. And so at the start of every turn, what you're basically gonna do is you're gonna unrest your cards. So that's like making them active again so you can take your turn. And then you would draw the two cards. And then what you would do is each turn, you can place one card in your support area. And what that means is now it, it effectively can be used once every turn to pay the cost for using abilities. Uh, okay. So yeah, so you would pro you would like look at your mm -hmm. hand and decide because once you put it in the support area, um, you can't use any of its effects. It's kind of just like a purple cost that you can pay each turn. Or in your case, a green cost. Does that, is there a limit to how many you can put in the support area? No. So it, it just keeps on scaling as the game progresses. But it, it limits like early game, right? So that I can't play a super expensive card and then use a crazy powerful attack right on like turn one. It's basically oh, okay. saying we have to take time to go. We draw some yeah. cards and yeah. Um, okay, I'll just put this. Sure. Um, so, so can I... Can you... Can I use the ability or the active for my cookie so in you the can't, first turn? So you can't attack, but you could use the active, I believe. Okay, so... Going the person who goes first can't attack, but yeah, it doesn't look like there's anything saying that you can't use the active. Okay, so it says pay one green, so I'll put this in the trash. No, no, no. So, so when you pay it, it's basically like you just rotate it, right? And what that oh, means okay. is now you can't use it again for the rest of the turn. Um. But you still get the bonus. I'm trying to think of like... It's like a, a bus pass that recharges every week or something, right? You can use it for a ride. And then next week, or in this case next turn, you can use it again. I see. But you couldn't use it twice in the same week, 
if it was like a really shitty bus pass. Okay, so I will use it, its ability. Mm -hmm. So I return this back to my support yes. area. Yes. So you you pick that because the thing about green is it has the I think it's oh. the only deck, but I could be wrong. That lets you actually take the cards from that support area and like put them back into your hand. Normally, if something goes into the support area, you can't really get it back. Yeah. Oh, I disconnected. Hold on. Oh, sorry. Um, no, it'd be on my end. It looks like your hand is still there, so. Uh, okay, yeah, I'm yeah. back. So yeah, and then you take the card from the top of your deck. Yeah. So you can put it... And then it goes into the area rested. So what that means is it's like it's like you used it, right? Yeah. yeah. And if you want to make it easier too, at the top, like at the middle of your screen, at the top, there's like a button that says thirty, kind of on the right side. Yeah. And if you click that, okay. you can just set it to ninety, and that makes your life a lot easier because then you can just Q and E okay. to rotate it. Uh, I'll just end my turn with this. Okay. So yeah, so then on my turn, uh, because it's the first turn where we draw, I would unrest all my cards, but I didn't do anything yet. Then I draw two cards. And then now this is where I play a card in the support area. So now I look at my deck and I'm like, well, what card do I not want? Or not not want, but it's like, which one does the least value for me right now? Yeah. But yeah, so I'll do that. And then... Just thinking about what I want to do. Um, but yeah, so the yoga cookie has the active ability where I can discard a card and then put a card in the trash. Is that a level one card? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so it's a level one card. So then what I'll do is I use my pastry cookie and I'll use the active on your phantom thief cookie. And what I'll do is I'll discard the pine tree town letter. And so then your phantom fee cookie yeah, goes to the trash. Is the... So if I was doing damage to you, um, then you would get the flips on those cards, right? The flip yeah. effects that are mentioned. But because it's going to the trash, um, those cards just go to the trash and there's no flip okay. effect bonus. Yeah. Okay. And so then now you need to always have a cookie on the field. So you have to look through your hand um, and pick which one you want to play again. And then it's the same kind of process. I'll play. Let's get this. Yeah, and then you would put three, four cards on it because it has four HP. And then you can set the uh, dice to four if you want. Uh, but yeah. And then with that, I will end my turn. Okay. And I would 
got two cookie or two cards, right? Yeah. So so first you unrest everything, right. right? So you'd rotate the cookie. So now you can use it again, and then you would draw the two. And one thing that's not mentioned in the rules explicitly, it seems kind of misleading, is you could summon any number of cookies on your turn that you want. It's just the requirement is you can only have two on the board at a time. I see. Yeah. Um... yeah. And so the first thing you want to do every turn is play that support area card. This. Okay, so can we play the stage area card at any time during our turn? Or? Yes, I believe so. Um, I'm double checking. Yes, you can. You can place the stage card. You can only have okay. one stage card at any time. Um, but yeah. Okay, this costs one green, so press this. Or... Mm -hmm. Then I will use its active. Okay. okay. And this, and... and then you get to draw a card. All right. Um. So, mm -hmm. for items and traps, they also count as like one card for the support area, like right? Yes, yes. Any card counts for the support area. So green so, is very lucky in the sense of you could put something in the support area, and then you have ways to put it back in your hand. Um, oops. All right, and since I already put the spinach cookie, I mm -hmm. can't put another support card. Yeah, you can only place it once per turn unless the card, like that Phantom Thief card from earlier, explicitly yeah. says to put a new card in the support area. But yeah. All right, I'll just end my turn like this. Okay. So then I'll go, I'll rotate my card back so that I can use it again. I'll draw my two cards, and now I figure out my turn. <laughs> kind of thinking here, I could destroy the stage. Um, and pay a discard cost. And then I could attack the level 2. Or I could use the, um, the Star Hurts cookie. But I don't have a level 2 on the field right now, so I don't think I could actually do that. And I need to play a land first, so... What I'll do... So yeah, I'll put the yoga cookie. I'll play a, a yoga cookie in my support area. Then, um, it's level two. I could destroy the stage. Okay, yeah, I'll just destroy the stage, I guess. And then um, I will use Yoga Cookies active. 
uh, where I'll discard a card. Um, and I'll use it to put your uh, your stage, the grace of the guardian tree, in the trash. So we pay the mana cost and figure out what I want to discard. I'll put the Twizzler cookie in the trash. Okay. Uh, and then I will end my turn. That's you. Here. So I will actually never mind. I'll just end my turn there. Okay. Yeah. You drew your cards, right? Yeah, you did. Yeah. You had a pretty big hand. <laughs> okay, so I'll untap and I'll draw my two. Now I decide what I want to play for land. Hmm. I'll put a yoga cookie into my support area. Then I'll summon the Star Hers cookie. And I will pay one of my purple mana for its on reveal effect. And I will put my yoga cookie in the trash and then select your peach cookie to go to the trash. Oh, and then I needed to, I kind of messed up there. I, when I played this first, the first thing I was supposed to do before we junked anything oh, yeah. was give it the HP. Yeah. Okay. Uh, but yeah, and then you nice. need to play a cookie now. So you have one on the board. Um, right, I will play this okay cookie. Okay. And I'm gonna put five cards. Yes, the five HP. And for its effect, I will put a spin cookie in the trash and deal one damage to your Star Hearts cookie. So I don't think you can trigger the effect because oh, it's, it's my, my turn, turn only. Right, yeah, right, yeah, right. yeah, yeah. Yeah. I forgot it. Yeah. No, all good, all good. Um, but yeah. And then. Ah, I see. Yeah. Mm hmm. Yeah, and then I will end my turn. Okay. That's you. The 
compensate them. Sure. I kind of messed up. I should have hit for one yeah. if I was like fully min-maxing, but um, what's it called? Like not using it isn't the worst thing in the world either because now I'm like threatening a trap card if a uh, purpley potato tries to attack me. But yeah, Naisu. I'll play. This is like a fiance. Sure. That's all right. I will use two support or two energy. Oh, so so when you use the energy, you just rotate it. You don't have to put oh, it right, in the trash. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Use two energy to attack your start cookie. Okay, and when you attack with the cookie, you do the same uh, the same rotate thing. Yeah. So yeah, indicating. And how much damage is that? Two. Two damage. Okay. So so now what happens is I have the option to play a trap card in response to uh, you doing your turn. I won't elect to, so I won't be doing that. So now what will happen is the taking damage part. This is the first time we actually took damage this game. So yeah. I'd go from the top of the HP, and I just flip the card. And then we can both read it. And as you can see, it doesn't have a flip effect. Like this card, the fig cookie, does have that flip effect, right? Where I can draw the card. But the clotted cream That's cookie good. does not. So that just goes into the trash. And then I still need to resolve one more damage. Oh, whoops. I flipped two. By accident. So the creamy unicorn cookie does not have a flip, so it goes in there. And now my Star Hertz cookie is love is at one HP. Okay, and I will end my turn. Okay. Okay, I'll put my angel cookie in the trash. And then... Let's see, how much HP does that cookie have? That is two, right? Yeah. Yeah, okay, okay. Sorry, just looking to confirm. <laughs> So, items and traps can be played from your hands. Mm -hmm. I see. Yeah, so, so traps can only be played on your opponent's turn. And items yeah. can be played on your turn. Okay. Uh, but yeah. Just thinking here. Okay, so I'll use an item 
I'll use Forbidden Magic Spell. And I'll pay two and put a level one cookie I control into the trash. And I'll deal two damage to your short arm cookie. Okay. So I will Yeah, you take flip. just the top card first? No. Oh. So yeah, just you know, like stack it again, right? And then you would just flip it one at a time. So this one does not have anything. Right. And so it also doesn't have everything. Okay. Yeah. And so, so no, so because that one oh. took the damage and lost all its HP instead of, um, oh, you know what? Didn't you break one of my cards? Am I going insane? Yeah, this card, I think, right? Or something like that. Or did I trash all the cards? I don't remember. But, um, and then this is the HP that it had. So that goes in there. Yeah, so because that one lost all of its HP, that goes into the break area. All right. Yeah, and so now you have two out of ten of your HP is, uh, like, damaged, kind of. Yeah. And I need to put out a cookie because I have to have one on the board. So I'll play a Twizzler cookie. Okay. That has three HP. And then this goes into the trash as well. Um, and yeah, I will end my turn. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Some supports. Yep, nice. And then remember to untap. These. Yeah. I think technically, um, people are supposed to untap it first and then do the draw, but it doesn't matter too much. I see. It's just a nice thing to do, you know, so people don't yeah. get like. Yeah. Um, three. I'll use this item. Get the ancient healer. Okay. Um, tap the plus three. Or put a level server below cookie. Yeah, yeah, so I don't know if um there was something you wanted to so you played your card in the support area at the start of the turn, right? Yeah. Okay. So then what I, th I think this only works if you have a level two cookie in the battle area. Because what, what you would be doing is like in a theoretical world, right? You'd be moving your orchid cookie into the support area and kind of. Oh, right. It, it says yeah, I don't think you can remove field. it from the break area. There are cards that let you do that, but they like explicitly state it. So if you wanted, you could play yeah. like a level two cookie from your hand and then use that skill. Um, but um, yeah, it's just yeah, I'll just attack your Tizzler cookie with my Orchid cookie. Okay, how much damage is that? That's four, four damage. damage. Um, okay. So, because it's the four damage, I basically keep going for the four. So, like, if I got an HP flip, right? But I only have three HP, so I would put a new card on, and then I would have to keep doing the four. So it's, like, not bad to overkill. So that doesn't have a flip effect. And then this doesn't have a flip effect. And this doesn't have a flip effect. So now my Twizzler cookie goes to the break area. And I need to play a card. 
and let's see I'll play clotted cream cookie as 4 HP and I will choose not to activate the on reveal effect okay um, yeah and then I believe it's still your turn and then when you attack with the orchid cookie make sure to rotate it. all right yep. yeah, keep forgetting. Um, yeah I'll just end my turn okay sounds good I'll untap draw two so I kind of messed up there. I should have played the trap card because it puts the card in the trash instead of my break area. And so because of that, I could have um, still gotten the same effect of putting the clotted cream cookie out. And then now I would be at 15 in my break area. So I could play the pepperoncino cookie in that case. Um, but yeah. don't want to do that card yet I think and the magic spell is nice I think maybe we do put a forbidden magic in okay. I'll play a forbidden magic in my support area uh, and then that is 4 HP or 5 that's 5 okay. 4 Oh, your face. Yeah, yeah, it's got the five. <laughs> um, and then... Sorry, just tr thinking hard. Okay, so uh, I will play the Hortensia cookie. It has two HP. And then the on reveal effect lets me select three non flip cards from my trash and shuffle them into my deck. And so let me just look at what I have in here. Um, oh, whoops. I need to declare the three that I take um, because I think you need to be able to see that they're yeah. not flip cards. So yeah. So I will take, I'll shuffle back in Twizzler cookie at three, right? Yeah, okay, three. Uh, bo -bo -bo -bo. I'll do Twizzler cookie and another Twizzler cookie. <laughs> And then to do, do put in a forbidden magic spell. Yep. Okay. 
And so then, now I put them in the deck and shuffle. What the heck? Hello? And then... Let's see. I will pay three to use my clotted cream cookie to attack your orchid cookie. Okay. And so here is where you would um, decide if you want to use a trap card or not. And assuming you have the support area available to pay the cost. Um. Alright, so if it's tapped, I can still use my traps? So, no, so if it's tapped, um, and you don't have enough untapped cards to pay the trap cost, then you couldn't. So if it says, like, oh, it takes two green, um, unfortunately, right, like, you're all out of green. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. But so. if it just said something like, discard a card, then you could play the trap card. Okay. I will not play a trap card. Okay. So then we just take the top one, and you just flip it. And I'll flip. So you put that in the trash, and then take the next top card. Oh, this is not how I flip the deck. So that's two out of three, and then you do one more, because it's a three damage attack. Nope. On no flip. Okay. So, two HP? Yeah, two HP. Um... <laughs> then I will end my turn. Oh, this has okay. two HP. Is that three thing? Got mm -hmm. two. Level one. Sure. Angel Cookie, I'll put it on my mm -hmm. support area. Oh, one thing you might want to do, just for clarity, is move the short arm cookie to the top. You know what I mean? So then it doesn't look like it's oh, part yeah. of your support area. Yeah. Okay, I will this Brooklyn cookie. Okay. Now, and I will use it to attack your clotted cream cookie. Okay. How much damage does it do? Three damage. Uh, three. Okay. And then, yep, yeah. nice. You paid the cost. So I will uh, take this opportunity to play the trap card Forbidden Magic. I will pay the purple cost. I'll use it on your sparkling cookie to reduce the clotted cream cookies damage taken to zero. Um, and then I will put my level one cookie, uh, Hortensia cookie, into the trash. Okay. And so then no damage goes off yeah. onto a uh, clotted cream cookie. Um, now just end my turn there. Okay. I'll untap everything, and then I'll draw my two, and 
let's see. I will play Raspberry Moose Cookie into my support area. And I'll pay three to use my clotted cream cookie to attack your orchid cookie. Okay, um, I will use my called the reed strap. Okay. Actually, so if my cookie faints, I can, yeah. Yeah, you basically get a free uh, support area card, which is pretty so nice. I Flip my yeah. cards. And so first pay the cost for the uh, the call right. from the reeds, right? So it's the one, one green. Yep. Um, this does not have anything. Nothing. And nothing. Yep. Okay. So the orchid cookie. Damage. So the orchid cookie, because it died from damage, it goes to the break area. All right. Yeah. Yep. And I will. And so you're at five one. HP. Yep. And then make sure you rotate the card that you just drew, because it comes in yeah. Uh, rested. Yeah. And then the call from the reach just goes to the trash. Yep. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. Is that your turn? Uh, do, 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 do. let's see. We still have a cookie out. Um, yeah, I'll end my turn there. Okay. Um. <laughs> okay. Draw two. So I'm not in I'll too much of a rush. I only have one card in cookie. my break area. Put four cards. Okay. Three. And that will attack your... Potted cream cookie with my sparkling cookie. That's three for three. Okay. So three damage. Um, okay. I'll flip the first card. Nothing. Flip the second card. Nothing. And I'll flip the third card. Nothing. So I'm down to one HP on the clotted cream cookie. Um, okay, I will attack your clotted cream again with my herb cookie. Cost okay. three greens for three damage. Mm -hmm. Okay, so then you rotate the herb cookie, yep. and then three damage. Okay. And then my clotted cream cookie faints, so it goes to the break mm -hmm. area. And it's now bloody. I need to play a card. So I'll summon Pepperoncino Cookie. It is 4 HP. Uh, it sends. I will end my turn. And okay. with the Herb Cookie's ability, I can make one of my rest for air cards like this. So Yes. So. And yeah, and you can, something to note, because it wasn't clear initially when I started playing, was that you can use the ability even if the card is rested. Yeah, okay. Yeah. The one, the, you can't do it if the ability says that you have to rest this card.
because that I, th I believe that counts as the cost of using the ability and so like if you've already attacked then the card is already rested yeah. and you can't yeah you get what i'm saying yeah yeah okay and then you ended your turn right yeah with the ability okay Draw two. I think there's a world where I could kind of kill myself here if I fuck up. Um, I will play Raspberry Moose Cookie in my support area. Oh, excuse me. Um, oh yeah, I will pay two to use Pepperoncino Cookies uh, attack, and because my trash has more than fifteen cards, it gets plus two damage. So I'll do three damage to. Um, look in here. Um, I'll do three damage to to the herb cookie. Okay, I will use the carrot farm scarecrow. Okay, against, which makes your Cookie have minus one damage. Okay. Make sure to pay the uh, the green cost. Yeah. And um. actually, right, I will return my faithful mischievous ladybug. Okay. And add add this into my support area. Okay. And then the carrot and farm goes in the trash. So that becomes... Okay. So that's two damage now onto the herb cookie. Okay. That does not have anything. That's and exactly. that doesn't have anything either. So now it has two, two HP. HP. Yep. Okay, and then with that, I will end my turn. Okay. So I could technically play the Twizzler cookie um, and try to kill the herb cookie, but doing that is really risky because if I don't have any cookies in hand, um, then I would just lose the game if... Uh, Because I, I would just um, run out of cookies in hand if they killed Pepperoncino and then killed my Twizzler. Well, I would probably use the active on my Twizzler. But that would just be... Uh, that's why it's like kind of rough, and I should yeah, hold on to it. Oops. I'll put the short arm cookie in my support area. Okay. And... I will use this item to deal one damage to your to your cookie. Okay. Costing three. Yeah, and then the ladybug goes in there. So you're doing one to Pepperoncino. Yeah. Oh, whoops! I picked up the wrong thing. Okay. I got a flip card. Um. So I'm thinking if I want to do it or not. Um, 
Yeah, I will. I'll discard a card to give my Pepperoncino plus one HP. And so I will put Forbidden Magic Spell in the trash. I give my Pepperoncino plus one HP, and then that goes into the trash. Okay. Okay. Um, and then I will attack your Pepperoncino with my Sparkling Cookie. Okay. Three. Yeah, I think you paid the three, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so it's three damage. Yeah. Okay. Um. I will use a trap card. Um, the Lost Cloud Nest. I paid my two purple, and then because my trash contains fifteen or more cards, I'll reduce the damage that you're sparking. I'll make sure to rotate it too, um, since you yeah. attacked with it. Yeah. And yeah, I will reduce it by three damage. Okay. So. So no damage on the pepperoncino. And I'll end my turn. Okay. Oh, I'm living life dangerously here, <laughs> going down on one card. Um, let's see. This card kind of doesn't help me. Missing a land might suck, but is it the right play to miss it? Is that something that I might just need to do? Um, whew, because going down to just only having one cookie in hand does feel pretty risky. So that's kind of why I hesitate. And if he plays a level 2, then having this effect would help. Um, because I could, you know, trash Twizzler Cookie if I really needed to. Um, and this lobby... I think I just need to stabilize. Um, I could arguably stabilize... I think... Oh, my hand size is just too small. I think I hold, and maybe that's a total misplay, and I'll have to look at it later. But I think I hold just so that I don't risk losing the game, because I still haven't drawn any of my big cards. Okay. This kind, this might be a huge mistake. Um, I will pass on playing anything in my support area. Um, and then I will, uh, use Pepperoncino and pay two, and I'll attack your herb cookie for three. I will use my million times with cream trap, so that becomes minus three, and then okay. place one card from your spirit. Yeah, I'll pay my charm cookie in the trash. And then... So that becomes minus zero. Yep. Um, bah, 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 bah. And I will end my turn. Okay. Oh, I don't know what I'm doing, man. <laughs> this this is tricky for sure. I can I can keep my pepperoncino alive for a bit, but um, yeah, I don't know. Once he dies, I need to bring out the Twizzler cookie. But I think right now, I honestly I just need to get more of my land, and I really need to hit one of my big cards. I know one of them got junk. I'll put this cookie in my support area. Okay. And I will attack your cookie with sparkling cookie for three. Okay, just checking one thing. Alrighty. Um, I'll pay two to use 
Lost Cloud Nest again. I have 15 or more cards in my trash, so uh, a zero damage on Sparkling Cookie. Okay. Um, let's see. I will attack with my herb cookie for three energy. Okay. Yep. So pay the three. Yep. And then three damage. Uh, okay. Flip. I may draw a card. card. That helps. Um, okay. And then this goes into the trash. Sorry, I was reading what it did. Uh, flip. That does nothing. And then flip. Oh, that one hurts to lose. <laughs> uh, but so now I am down to one HP. I have the poison mushroom cookie, and so on my turn. I can do damage now. Okay, sounds good. I'm gonna untap everything and draw my two. And I'll play angel cookie in my support area. And then... I'll use Pepperoncino. Um, I'll pay two to use its effect. And I will attack your sparkling cookie uh, for three. I'll use my carrot farm scarecrow trap. So okay. that's minus one. I'll return. My care of the ancient healer card and. The one that needs apple pie. That's prayer, yeah. That does two damage. Okay. Yep, so two to sparkling so. cookie. Flip. Nothing. Discard one card. Give. Okay. So yeah, I will... so you can opt to do that if you'd like. What is the effect? to discard. Mm -hmm. So you this. discard the card, and then now you take a card from the top of the deck, and you can put it back. Okay. So now, I took. Let's see, we did three, you reduced it by one. So now you're at one, right? Or are you at um, on two? I'm at two. Yeah. You put the card on it, right? Because it's only, oh, there is the other card. Yeah. I see. So yeah. yeah, you you do it, you do it. You just uh, put them. Oh, I think it's the other way, though. Whichever one oh. you just drew goes on top. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay, cool. And so now that is at two. Um, and then... I'm just thinking here. Okay, I will 
summon Starher's cookie. It is 3 HP. And it has an on reveal effect that I will pay a purple to activate. And I will put my pepperoncino cookie into the trash. And by putting it into the trash, I will also select your herb cookie uh, to go in the trash. Okay. And then, um, I did pay the cost, right? Yeah, I did. Sorry, I'm just doing some math. Okay, and then I'll summon Twizzler Cookie. It has 3 HP. Uh, and then I will pay two to use its attack to deal one damage to your sparkling cookie. Okay. I will. Nothing. And then. HP. Yep. And then I will use the active um, for one purple. And I will uh, deal one damage to your sparkling cookie and put my Twizzler cookie in the trash. Okay, I'll activate my color the reeds. Okay, make sure to pay so, the green. Yeah. Take this flip. Nothing. Okay. It faints. Yeah, so, so it faints, so it goes into the break area. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, purple yeah. has that annoying distinction. <laughs> This. Oh. Yeah, and then it's rested. Yep. Um, this trash now. Yes. Okay. Two. Okay, and then. Um, with that, I will end my turn. Okay. Yeah, I tap everything. Maybe I was supposed to. Uh, you're supposed to push for the lethal there with the mushroom cookie, but because now he has four in hand, which is kind of rough. That might have oh, place. been my window I was supposed to take. It's in a support area. Hmm. And then we'll see. I'm kind. Of, I'm kind of trying to hope he overextends, but we'll see. Actually, I probably should have done it because he can put the he can cycle phantom thief cookies now so i think it was a mistake and i should attack your star hurts cookie with my phantom thief cookie okay one so let's see one damage okay i'll also use its active okay that's one and i will Bring back my Geo Duck flower cookie. Back to my hands. Okay. And do this. And
I will summon my Dio Duck Flower Cookie for Okay. And I attacked your Phantom Thief cookie, or I attacked your Star Hearts cookie with... Yeah, yeah. Oh, it, it has two HP, it's just I didn't adjust the dice. Oh, okay. But yeah, you can see it's only got the two cards. Yeah. And I will use three green to deal two damage to your Star Hearts cookie. To my Star Hearts cookie? Yeah. Um, t -t 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 -t. Okay. One... Two. Okay, so nothing. Yeah. So these go to the trash, and my Star Hurts cookie uh, goes there. And now I need to play a cookie so that I don't lose. So I will play Poison Mushroom Cookie, okay. um, and I will pay its effect for on reveal to trash all level two cookies. And so what um what LS was saying last night was that you uh that the card also gets anything below level two. So it gets the level ones as well. Um and that's kind of a translation thing. So they just get trashed I think, right? Yeah, okay. So they just get trashed. And this is 5 HP, which I should have done right from the get-go. Okay. Let's play this one. 20 HP. <laughs> okay. And then it is still your turn. All right. Hmm. All right, I'll use my playful show steady bug item to deal one damage to your poison mushroom cookie. Okay. You have enough for it? Oh yeah, you do. Yeah. Okay. So one damage. Okay. And so I'm on my turn there. Okay. Whoops. Just trying to make sure that card is a little more visible. Um, but yeah, okay. Let's draw two. Um... Okay, so I'll play another poison mushroom cookie, so that'll trash all the level two or below cookies. And then it is five HP, which the cards are not stacking for some reason. And then, oh, okay, so I ran out of cards, so now what I have to do, um, real quick before you junk yours, is I need to find pick a card from my deck put it in my break from my trash put it in my break area and then now um my trash becomes my new deck if that makes sense okay yeah. so i'll just open it and i'll pick a card from it um and you know obviously like ideally in a case like this right you would only want to put in a level one so that you don't take a ton of damage so I'll put yeah. in the Raspberry Moose cookie, and that puts my break area at 5. And then now I shuffle the deck, and I hate that sound effect. Um, and yeah, and then I'll pay one purple as the on reveal cost. Trash that, and then do you have a cookie in hand or no? <laughs> I do not, so that means I lose, right? Yeah. Uh, but yeah, okay. I got pretty lucky. I just drew those. Um, GG. Yeah, GG's. Yeah, that was a good game. You picked it up pretty yeah. quickly. Uh, I don't know. I felt like I wasn't getting many flip cards drawn. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, no, it, it can feel like that for sure sometimes. There's only 16, and another big aspect why it might have felt like that was because I think you had a lot of them in your land, right? Or no, I guess you yeah, got the Angel had a lot of key and yeah, this one. So that's already like a few of the flip cards. Yeah. Um, but yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. That's my first time playing the purple, so... And I, I do think green is kind of hard, honestly. When I was playing it, I had no idea what to do, because it's like... Are you ramping it, or... You know, like, what are you doing for it? Yeah, I don't... It's just going with the flow. Yeah, and tough. you have to kind of, <laughs> like... I think you just have to hit the opponent's stuff. But that can be kind of tough versus purple and blue have a lot of effects that let them like and i think yellow does too but there's not a good yellow deck that we have in the sim yet yeah um, but they can do a lot of those like like bounce effects right like blue will put the card back in their hand yeah and purple will just trash it instead um so they're good at cheating that kind of damage and i i don't know enough about the matchup honestly but I was definitely, like, kind of getting pressured, I think. Because I only, at one point, I only had one cookie in my hand. <laughs> and, oh. and, yeah, so I almost, I was like, I'm going to so lose if uh, yeah. if you kill my pepperoncino and then, like, have some type of card to kill my, I think it was a Twizzler cookie. So it's, like, a level one with three HP or something. Yeah. So that's why I'm like, I need this thing to die. I need, and then you kept on <laughs> playing those trap cards. But well, yeah, that's that's fun, I guess. Yeah. yeah. Did you have? Was there anything about just like the rules and the game flow in general that was uh, unclear, or you wanted to ask about or get some clarification? I won't be a hundred percent correct, because I also don't know everything. Um, but, you know, I can try my best. Uh, everything made sense that game, I felt like. I just didn't play that well. Okay. No, no, I think time. You, played it, you played it decently, yeah. Yeah, I have time to play another. Let me, um... I'll play, like, a red or something, I guess, because that's a little more straightforward. Because the purple deck is weird, man. <laughs> yeah, it's... I don't know. Yeah. I'll take know. the blue deck, I guess. Sure. Was this the blue deck that you just pulled out, or is that a red? That, that was the, the green deck that I had. Okay. I, just, I can just uh, delete the stack then so that we get it. Unless you wanted to keep looking at it. Nah. Okay. Delete that. Okay. I'll play the red. Um, hang on, just give me one second, because I'm kind of hungry, so I'm thinking if I want to order a pizza or not. <laughs> I'm going to get some water first, then. Yeah, sure. Wait, gotta make sure stream doesn't show my credit card info or anything. <laughs> but yeah, let's get pepperoni and sausage, baby.
Oh, do I get a medium or large? Just get a medium. I'll get a medium, I'll save two slices for lunch. Yeah. That works. Oh, and then the coupon code, right. Oh, I was so close. Thanks. I'm back. Welcome back. I just uh, finished ordering. Okay. Yeah. But yeah. Um. Okay. Let's see. I grabbed the red deck, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So um, what is it? I know in the in the rules it talks about just playing the uh, just doing the rock, paper, scissors to decide who goes first, but I know some people have been doing it in the server where they're like, oh, whoever lost, if you were playing a set with someone, whoever lost the most recent game can decide which turn they go on. I see. So, yeah. And, um, I'll go first, I guess. Okay. So, six cards. Yes. So we draw right, six. I'm gonna learn this whole deck. <laughs> I know exactly how you feel. <laughs> um, hold on. Alright. Right, so... And, and you could decide uh, if you're gonna mull or not. Alright, I, I won't. I'm gonna mull again as well. Okay. Sorry, one second. I gotta reply to this text. Okay, okay. Uh, let me draw my six, and then I gotta go unlock the front gate real fast. So I will be right back. Okay.
Yo, yo, yo. Sorry about that. Yeah, it's alright. Oof, okay. Um, we just mulligan the yeah, outcome. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. And then you said, do you want me to go first? Or I guess we gotta pick our cookies first. Alright, I'm just reading what I have. Yeah. I'll put this, I guess. Okay, I'll put this cookie down and we can flip on three. One, two, three. Okay. Uh, yeah, you can go first. Yeah, well, so we decide that before we flip, I believe. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So one. All right. Two, three. Two. We play the HP. Yep. Okay. And then, I don't think we missed anything. I'm just double checking. <laughs> <laughs> that paranoia. No, yeah, I think we're good. Okay, so I go first, so I don't get to draw or attack on the first turn. Um, but I can play land, so I'll play the Nine Tails cookie in my support area. Uh, and I will end my turn. Okay. Um, draw two. In my support. Sure. And then because you're going second, you could attack um, if you like had the mana for it. Yeah. Uh, but yeah. Um. So. I will also play my Sour Belt Cookie with 3 HP. Okay. And I will use 1 blue to have less than 6. Mm -hmm. So draw 1. Nice. Yeah, that's nuts. And, yeah, I'll end my turn. Okay. I draw my 2. I'll play Carrot Cookie in my support area. Um, let's see. How much HP does that have? That's three. Okay. Um, right. Yeah, so... I will pay two to use my Cherry Cookie and the additional effect. Uh, to deal three damage to your sour belt cookie. Okay. Um, like this. Nothing. Yeah. Oh wait. <laughs> oh. But if you break area, okay, that doesn't. Yeah. <laughs> I I know how that feels because when I was playing this deck the other day, I had the same thing. I kept getting that card as a flip, and I had no break area. Yeah. So I was like. Shit, this doesn't really help me. <laughs> but yeah, um, and with that, I will end my turn. Okay. Not two. Yeah, that card is pretty good. The Sour Belt Cookie. So, I don't want to let him get too much value from it. Okay. So, I need to just attack it. Get this card up. <laughs> Did you drop one off the edge of the table or something? No, no, no. I just. I'm looking a card up real quickly. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, yeah. 
No worries. Yeah, I do think I think the uh the document that Puka posted with all the cards and stuff uh is a little bit more accurate right now than the um yeah the current like sim and so it might be worth fixing that eventually okay um What's up? I guess you misclicked. Well, it's my support area. Okay. And... I'll just I'll attack your cookie with my Eloi cookie for two. Okay. That's two damage onto the cherry cookie. Right it is two. Yeah, okay. Yeah. No flip. Uh flip. One. Draw a card. And now my cherry cookie is at one. It's not letting my turn there. Okay. I will untap. And draw two. I'll play Rose Cookie in my support area. And then... Thinking how I want to do this. I'll tap two to uh, use my cherry cookie and its additional effect, and I'll deal three damage to your aloe cookie. This card, one card. Um, yeah. So basically, the way that that this would work is um. I've, it seemed a little confusing when people were explaining it to me. I'm not 100% sure if the way it works is you give it plus 1 HP and then you get to flip that plus 1 HP card, or if it's still not enough. But I assume it lets you draw the other card and flip it. So, But the 3 damage still goes through, because I've only done 2 of yeah. it. Yeah. So um, it's up to you if you want to... I just... Okay. Oh, break here, yeah. All right. If you're not gonna pay the cost, yeah. Um, no. And then he had a fainting oh, yeah, effect, right? Ability. Yeah, I mean, I should probably play the cookie first. I think no, you you draw for first actually for him. Oh. Because it the oh, way right. it kind of resolves is he's still on the field, right? It's like oh. He's, it's like he's fainting, you know what I mean? He's falling yeah, yeah. over, about to die, and you're like, shit, let me, let me draw three real quick. Because um, I had the same thing happen to me, and I was told that what it lets you do is you get to look at the top three, and then you, what do you do with them? You put them at the bottom. Yeah, you draw yeah. one and then put the other two at the bottom. Yeah, and whichever one you draw, you have to reveal to me, because you have to prove that it's a blue card you're selecting. 
right? But you don't have to reveal the two cards that go to the bottom of your deck. I will right real okay then... put the other two yep, at the bottom of the deck oops yeah it's it's finicky sometimes I know that feeling <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah I'll just move that stack a bit so it's not as close here Okay. okay. And now he goes to the break area. And now you can decide um, what cookie you'd like to play. I will... I'll play another alloy cookie. <laughs> okay. So we give it the HP. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And then I think it's still my turn because I just attacked you, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um Okay. Um Uh, I'll end my turn. Okay. Oh, the pizza's here. Give me one second uh, while you think okay. about your turn. Alrighty, I'm back. Is my support area? Okay. The Dr. Wasabi cookie. Yeah. yeah. And... Still. I will... Play my Ultra Stingray Cookie, 3 HP. Okay. So this is the part that I'm not sure of. I don't know whether you have to activate Blocker on your turn or if you can do it on the opponent's turn. I think it's in the opponent's turn. It's, it says when an enemy cookie attacks. Okay, right? gotcha. Yeah, okay, okay. And it costs one blue, yeah. Yeah, we'll just rock with uh, it being opponent's turn. Okay, um, I will just I'll attack your cherry cookie with my low cookie. Okay. For two. I will uh, pay one mana to use the trap card on your aloe cookie uh super sticky okay. dough swamp 
So it does minus okay. two damage. And then make sure to tap it. Yeah. Yeah, nice. It's uh, on my turn. Okay. Damn, I was just about to have a bite. <laughs> Alrighty, draw two. I'll play Carrot Cookie in my uh, support area. And then... <laughs> okay, I'll use my cherry cookie and I'll pay two to attack your aloe cookie for uh, three damage. And I don't know if you'd like to activate the blocker effect or a trap card. Let them pass. Um, nothing here. Wait. Wait. So make sure you um, you do the effect now, right? All right. Search three. Yeah. I'll search the three. Wow. Right, so there's this cookie that says, or that activates the ability during my turn only and on reveal. Like, how does that work? Because like, so I only reveal when you're attacking my cookie, right? No, no, no. So, so you can reveal includes just playing the cookie. Um, so if you're like, pretend my uh, pretend this trap card's a cookie, right? If it was my turn and I just decide to play it to have an extra thing to attack you with then that would be an on reveal on my turn but let's say you killed the um the cherry cookie and then i play this card so that i still have a cookie on board then the on reveal wouldn't go off because it's okay. not my turn i see wait so playing it counts as revealing or it counts as what yeah Sorry, I, I couldn't hear what you said uh, clearly. Hang on a sec. Okay, no worries. Sorry about that. Um... Nah, no worries, man. Okay, so for the on reveal effects, you said that playing it counts as on reveal. 
So, so any time that you play the cookie into the battle area is on reveal. Okay. And then the only other restriction could be like the cost to pay for it, right? Or <clears throat> like you were asking, the on your turn only thing. Okay, so I will play this card. Okay, and... you're putting that card into your hand. Yeah. Okay. Okay, do this in my break. And it's still your turn. Yeah, and so then because I just uh, killed one of your cookies, you do have the option to play another cookie if you'd like. Um... I won't do anything for now. Okay. Then I will summon another cherry cookie. It is 3 HP. And then I will pay 2 mana to use its effect to attack your uh, Mocha Stingray cookie for 3. On reveal. Yeah, but that so the on reveal is like not a, it's different from a flip. Oh. I yeah, see, yeah, yeah. So on reveal is just like entering the battle. Is that? Mhm. Mm okay. And this is the thing. So. And I will have to play. My ocean fairy cookie with five HP. Okay. It's five HP. Hang on, I'm just gonna yeah. fix the stack real oh. quick. Yeah. Nice. Okay. And with that, I will end my turn. This nice port area. I will also play my Black Freezing Cookie. And are you going to uh, do the on reveal effect? Yeah, so I will discard. One, two, three, so that's five HP. And I will attack your your three HP cherry cookie for two, and then one to your other what to your one HP cherry cookie. Okay, so two to the three HP one. Yeah. Okay. One, two. That's a flip. I draw a card. Okay, and then one to the one HP cherry cookie. Okay. That is cherry cookie goes to the break zone. 
and I will attack your actually. Is that one? Yeah. yeah, I'll attack your fairy cookie with my ocean fairy cookie. Okay. So that is four, right? Yeah. Okay. Cherry Cookie goes to the break zone, and now I decide what I want to play. I'll play Dark Choco Cookie. It is 4 HP. And then tap the uh, the ocean ferry. Right. And I will end my turn. Okay, sounds good. I'll untap. I'll draw two. I'll play Nine Tails Cookie in uh, my support area. Then... I'll summon Brave Cookie. It has two HP. And then hum, hum, hum. I'll pay two to use my brave cookie to attack your ocean fairy cookie. Okay. So <clears throat> select Okay, that doesn't okay. Yeah, that's when you play it out of hand. Yep. And then one uh, just the two, right? Yeah. Okay. And then I'll pay three to use a uh, dark choco cookie to deal three damage to your ocean fairy uh, quick cookie. Yeah, I will use my seven trap. Okay. Oh, do you have the mana for the trap? All oh, right, I forgot about the mana cost. Yeah, all good, all good. Oh, what's that do? You may draw a card. One card. And here. Okay. Oh, break area because yeah. it painted. 
And you're at seven, and I'm at four. Okay. And do you want to summon a cookie? Here, I'll summon my tiramisu cookie with your HP. Okay. And then with that, I will end my turn. Here, give me one second while you think. I'm gonna grab more pizza. <laughs> okay. All right, I'm here. Okay. I um, put the rich shell color cookie on my support area. Okay. I use my tiramisu cookie to attack your wave cookie for one, and I'll also pay one more blue. Okay. Give an, an extra three. Yeah, so that's four damage total, right? Yeah. Okie dokie. <laughs> that's kind of funny. One, two. Okay, my brave cookie goes to the break area. Yeah, I'm turn there. Okay. I'll play a wild berry cookie <coughs> uh, in my support area. And then... Excuse me.
Okay, I'll use my uh, dark choco cookie to deal three damage to your uh, black raisin cookie. Um, I will use my shattered ice statue trap for two. Okay. So that. So it's just one okay, damage. One damage. Yeah. And I will draw one. Actually, I should. Yeah, I don't know which one you would do first in that case. Yeah. I think you draw before the flip, because the trap card gets played before the combat starts. But yeah, uh, okay. okay, so no flip. And that's, that's to four. Right, yeah. Okie dokie. Then... And I'll play my Sichuan cookie. And that has 2 HP. And I will pay 2 mana to deal 3 damage to your Black Raisin cookie. Okay, so that's down to one HP. One. Yep. Okay, and then oh, I didn't put the two HP there, but uh, with that, I will end my turn. Maybe this is my support area. Sounds good. If they kill one of my uh, my creatures, I could either play the espresso cookie a little more sound of a plan or I could gamble and reveal the chestnut cookie <laughs> so we'll see Actually, I should just win. Sorry, I meant to mute, but... Yeah. I will attack your Dark Trigger Cookie with my Black Raisin Cookie. Okay. Three things. Oh, that one spun all the way. <laughs> yeah, it's three damage. I'll also attack your Dark Trigger Cookie with my Tiramisu Cookie. Yeah, hang on. We do it. We do it. Uh... Oh, I was muted. I'm stupid. I was going to say, we do it one at a time first. So you can untap the Tiramisu and the cost for that. Okay. Um, yeah. <laughs> okay, so the three from Black Raisin Cookie. One, two, that's a flip. I'll draw a card. Three. Okay. 
and I'll t attack your eighth bet your receipt cookie. Okay, for one. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And that goes to the break area. Uh, and I will not play a cookie. Pretty much that here, huh? Is there anything else that you wanted to do on your turn? Uh, I had my turn. Okay. I'll untap. I'll draw two. And then... I'll play a melon bread cookie in my support area. That's one there. Okay. And then I will pay two to use my Sichuan cookie to attack your black raisin cookie. Okay. And so then that breaks. And I think that's 10, unless I can't yeah, do that. Yeah, that's Yeah. Okay, GG. Nice, nice, nice. Pretty good. I think the red deck is pretty aggro, so that's why I was just swinging at you. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I can also yeah. delete the cards or whatever if you want. Yeah. But, you know, it seems like it felt like I should should have played the Ocean Fairy Cookie later since it doesn't do too much early game. But... Right, It's since it's so expensive. Yeah. Yeah, and I think the other thing you could have done, too, is... Where are those cards? It's somewhere in here. It's, the, like, the very first card I played. All right. Uh, oh, oh, no, it's over here. That's right. Cookie. So like, yeah, because there was, like, a point where I had the two cherry cookies. So something that, like, you can do, that apparently people do at the higher level, is... You can only have two cookies out at a time, right? So having a full board isn't necessarily always the right kind of thing to do. Uh, because I have this full board of the cherry cookies, right? And then you could play the uh, the Ice Queen or something that's really tanky, right? Like the Black Raisin cookie. Because <clears throat> um, that is 5 HP, right? And my cherry cookie is only strong against level one cookies, but obviously it's level yeah. three. So basically what you can do is you could literally just be like, oh, I'm just gonna play this black raisin cookie as my only thing on field. And then I have to spend like, I can't get rid of these two cherry cookies, right? So you literally just say, oh, like I'll play a land, I'll do a, a draw card or something and then you just end your turn without ever breaking those right and that just stops yeah. me dead in the tracks for like a few turns because i would probably be like i need to fucking get out of this board state right so i would be trying to i'd slowly chip away but you can see right like that would take me three turns in a worst case scenario and i mean i could play like a skill like that right to deal three damage but then i'm like using that item and exerting myself a lot more um and you're basically forcing yeah, right like yeah you get it 
So yeah. sometimes it's good to lock your opponent into that board state. Especially because you're like... I feel like blue is probably more control than red, right? <laughs> so yeah. you can just like lock me in that board state. You can keep building up your hand. And then you can probably like pull off some of the impressive combos. The other thing too that I kind of felt about blue was it really rubs me like a type of... I and mean, I could be completely wrong, but it seems like the type of deck where you only want one of the um, one card on the board at a time. You know what I mean? Because like yeah, you, you have the sorbet I, I cookie. That the ends. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you have the sorbet cookies, so you can do the bounces, right? And I think Ocean yeah. Fairy too, right? Yeah, return yeah. a card. And so that's why I think like filling the board as blue is probably not the strongest idea unless you like really have to. You know what I mean? Yeah. Okay. That was but yeah. a nice game. Yeah, GG. I don't have time for another, because I gotta do something in like 25 minutes. Okay. Um, but yeah. I GGs. hope that the game makes sense. Yeah, GG's. Yeah. I hope you had fun too. You know, yeah. That's the important part. Yeah, that was fun. <laughs> <sighs> yeah. You're an Ayame fan, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I like her too. She's pretty good. I uh, I like Matsuri the most though. Yeah, she's uh, a little too unhinged. <laughs> You're just saying enough. <laughs> All right. But yeah. All right. GG's man. I'll see you around. Yeah. I hope you keep playing. Uh, see ya. Peace. All right. I'm gonna end stream here. I hope that was informative of a video. Um, maybe I could have explained more. I tried to do the best, and I think the starting bit is helpful because I'm explaining the game from scratch. But, yeah. Uh, thanks for watching if anyone's watching, and I hope this video is helpful to people down the line. And I'm sorry if I forgot to mute my mic sometimes while I was eating. Oops. Uh, but yeah. Alright, thanks.